And so what draws my heart to student ministry? You know, I've always cared about kids because of who I was as a kid, and how my life was changed through Christ. Um, I've been blessed so, so much, and I wanna be able to give that back to the next generation while being part of something greater and bigger than myself, um, something that this internship will allow. You know, so I'm still pretty young. I turned 20 March 1st, and I realize how influential certain events are, especially at these ages that the Pope students are at. Um, influence is such as who you hang around with, you know, what you get exposed to, peer pressure, and how tough school gets, you know, how stressful figuring out post-graduation plans gets, um, dealing with consequences and sports and injuries, recruiting, whatever it may be. You know, so growing up, I was failed time after time by the people I looked up to from a faith perspective. The ones I imagined to be so pure and such great role models, you know, they just got so wrapped in the world. Um, from a young age, you know, I saw what these people were doing and it impressed on me that, you know, it was normal, it was okay to go out drinking, doing drugs, sleeping around, gossiping, complaining, whatever it may be, as long as you go to church on Sunday. You know, that's exactly what I believe most of these kids are hope are being faced with. Um, that's why I want to be a leader this summer. I live my life differently um, than the normal 20-year-old college football player. I want to show these kids that there's so much more to life and what the world has to offer. I want to show that there's life in Jesus and the way that he wants us to live. I believe that actions speak louder than words. So when these kids see that I carry myself in a different way, they're gonna see how perspective and faith can shape your life, and the effect that we have on others as well. Um, so my church right next to school, I've been volunteering with them for a while, um, you know, and I have two big takeaways from the kids I work with, you know, first, they watch everything and they repeat it. You know, your validity as a leader is largely evaluated through if your words match your life and actions, something I work on every single day. For example, we start the days off by dancing alongside these people in the video, singing faith-based songs. And the more that I personally dance and the more I'm, you know, goofy and energetic about it, you know, it creates a more comfortable atmosphere for the numerous kids who do it alongside me. But, you know, if I'm, just telling them like, hey guys, go dance, but you know, I'm sitting on the back of my phone. Like that's not, that's a that's fraudulent validity to them. Again, these are just five to 11 year olds. So they don't have a lot of exposure to what these older kids and hope are gonna have. Uh, but that's what I'm passionate about. You know, I'm passionate about turning this around. And, um, you know, I also lead a Bible, a little Bible study for high schoolers, you know, that uh, these kids, they see it the way that I invest in them. Uh, for example, like just for remembering things and checking up on them about um, what they're going through personally, you know, it's gone a long way for building relationships with them. I also express with them a lot of things that I struggle with as well, because this makes me more personal and um, shows them that in no way do I think I'm better than them, no way do I think I'm perfect. And again, just student ministry is so important because I'm a frontline representative of Christ to these kids and will be able to provide them with someone I never had, just a reliable mentor that practices what he preaches. I really care about students and faith and I'm pumped for this opportunity to lead the summer. Thank you.